find the equation of the normal to the curve y equal 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1 where x is not equal to 1 at a point 0 negative 1. So the given equation is y equal 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1. So we are going to use the quotient rule. So we let u to be equal to 2x plus 1. Then v will be equal to this x minus 1. So we now differentiate. So du dx will be equal to 2. Then dv dx will be equal to 1. So recall the quotient rule dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. So we have dy dx is equal to v, which is what is here, 2x, v is x minus 1, times du dx. So it differentiates this, which is 2x, which is 2, differentiate 2x plus 1 is 2. Then minus u, u is what is here, and that will give us 2x plus 1 and times dv dx. So we differentiate whatever is here, that will give us 1. So all over v squared, so v is x minus 1, all squared. So we expand to get 2 times x is 2x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, then minus 2x minus 1, all over x minus 1, all squared. So when we simplify this, 2x minus 2x will go, and then we are left with negative 2 minus 1, and that will give us negative 3 over x minus 1 all squared. Or you could simplify it to get, you could expand to get negative 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 1. So that is the y dx for you. So we now have to substitute x equals 0 x equals 0 in order to find the gradient of the curve. So at the point 0, negative 1, x is equal to 0. So the gradient dy dx at x equal 0. We substitute 0 here. We have negative 3 over negative 3 over 0 minus 1 all squared. 0 minus 1 squared is 1. So negative 3 over 1. And that will give us negative 3. So the gradient m is negative 3. So now that we found the gradient to be negative 3, we can find the equation of the normal. So the gradient of the tangent is the negative 3 that we had here. So recall that we can call that m1 where m1 times m2 should give us negative 1 because the gradient and the, uh, the normal, the tangent and the normal are perpendicular. So if the normal is, if the tangent, the gradient of the tangent is negative 3, then m1 times negative 3 should be equal to negative 1. So dividing through by negative 3, we get m1 
to be equal to negative 1 over negative 3. So we are assuming that m2 is the tangent equation of the, uh, the gradient of the tangent, which is negative 3 that we found here. So we are assuming that this is m2. So it means the gradient of the normal is now 1 over 3. So with this gradient and the point 0, negative 1, we can find the equation of the normal using y minus y1 equal m into bracket. So in this case, m2 into bracket. And in this case, m1 into bracket x minus x1. So where our x1 is 0 and our y1 is negative 1. So we have y minus negative 1 is equal to m1, which is 1 over 3, to bracket x minus x1, which is 0. So we expand this, we get y plus 1 because negative, negative becomes positive. So y plus 1 is equal to 1 over 3x. 1 over 3x. Or when we multiply through by 3, we get 3y plus 3 is equal to x. Or we can write it in standard form as 3y okay uh, as x minus 3y is equal to 3 or if you want to leave it in uh, slope intercept form you get y equal 1 over 3x minus 1 so this is the equation of the normal to the curve y equal 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 at the point 0, negative 1.